Hello everyone, I filmed this video yesterday, but my computer had all these glitches, which is why the day 29 and day 30 are being posted on day 31. It's still gonna happen, and we're gonna start this video now. Hello everyone, thank you guys so much to everyone who watched the premiere of Ashes this morning. It's been a great 30 days. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate everyone who tuned in and watched me when I was giving tips about mental health or just when I was diving into other creative aspects which are commentary react. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed those videos until I started doing them, but I also didn't realize until I started doing them how much work goes into them because when you watch them on YouTube, it seems very easy and like not that a lot of work, but no, it's a ton of editing work. The reason for the crash I mentioned is probably because for 30 days I've just been creating content and putting it into Adobe Premiere Pro. I um, haven't been able to delete any of that content because literally that's all I've had time for. Work, post, sleep, work, post, sleep. You'd think that would have an effect on me. It didn't. The only times it ever did was when it was started failing and I'm like, what do you want me to do? You know? I'm trying my best. I guess I wanted to start this video off by saying thank you genuinely to everyone who tuned in over the last 30 days because I've been pushing the message of showing up for yourself and when I first started this on day one, I was really dreading and thinking like, I don't finish anything. I always stop. I never do what I'm supposed to do. And the things that happened that meant like you guys didn't get the video on the day were things that I'm like, well, this is stuff that's out of my control and it's not something that is preventing me uh, from posting. Um, for instance, there are sometimes I had videos that I wanted to come out on day 15, but they were so long that I had to push like for 15 episodes for you to actually see them. But that was just because I was a learning process and without like learning, you're always just gonna be the same. And I'm 26, I don't wanna be the same artist that I am at 26 that I will be when I'm 50. I want there to be a journey and I want there to be like a better place in the world for myself and hopefully all of you by that time, you know? We could all do with a better world. And what did I learn from the 30 day challenge? I learned what I'm really good at. I learned that there are things that you can do when you have more time to focus on one video that you can't do when you're posting every day because you want the content to come out. Sometimes the higher graphics, more like detailed kind of cuts are great and they're wonderful and they make your video look amazing, but they take a ton of time and when you're trying to do 30 um, videos every single day and you didn't have enough time beforehand to, you know, make a bunch and then post them like a schedule, um, which is kind of where I fell into. And that's why I kind of learned how I am with editing. And like, there, there's certainly some tips I'm gonna take from this experience. For instance, do you guys know what your own breath looks like in Premiere Pro? Because I sure do. Not only that, but I also know what it looks like when I use the words um and like an er. Those are extremely annoying to hear from somebody, but I know what they sound like and that's why I cut those out for you so you, most of the time, unless it's really important for you to hear those for the like comedic effect or if I take them out it doesn't make sense. I try to leave those into those videos because there are only so many things that you can cut out before it starts looking like Mr. Robot Choppy, you know? I wanna make sure it still looks like a human talking to you over this uh, here camera right here. Those are technical things I learned. But what I learned about myself, when I first started, I was definitely doing it for myself and then halfway through I started like noticing that like people were watching but it wasn't like in a bigger audience, which is kind of what the person that I was um, being told to uh, post for was kind of making it out to be. Where my idea came from, the person who said that um, kind of made it out to be like the more you posted, the more you get viewed, and then you could boost your subscriber count that way. I don't really care about subscriber count. I'm, I more care about like getting to a level where I could be on YouTube or doing something that I love creatively full time. That's more of where I'm looking at it because I want to make sure I'm creating the content for you that result revolves around my talent and not just content for you that everybody's doing because they know it's a way to get a quick view because there's a disconnect for me there. Like if I'm going to show you guys stuff from about me, then I need to be connected to things that are popular. So if I don't find anything like that, then I don't touch it because that's when I get the holes in my mental health status because then I feel like I'm doing things for validation and validation is a huge problem in the arts. It's a competition. Um, and so because it's a competition, we're always looking to other people to validate us, whether that's directors, writers, like any other fellow actors. We're always looking for that validation because we're like, without that validation, we must suck. And you know, I don't need people's validation. Like I know, I know that I'm talented. I know what I'm capable of and all that I really want to do is make sure that I'm pushing enough content out there that like other people can find it, especially when it comes to the mental health stuff I'm doing. I was really debating whether or not to do that in this channel, but then I realized I struggle with that. And I know that that's a problem in the art industry is a lot of people struggle with mental health. There are, there is a history of a lot of like authors because before like videos and television of like authors who have like killed themselves. And we talk about it in history and it's kind of toned down. I'm thinking of like Sylvia Plath, but like it's toned down a little, but I'm like, well, it's not just her. Like, 
like if you look over the course of history that happens with a lot of creative types and I'm like well it's still a stigma to talk about it and I'm like well if it's a thing that's been happening for centuries then if we just spoke about like those kind of subjects and like tips for other people to follow so they don't fall into those traps then why not do that for your fellow man I want to be an actor and I want to be able to work as much as possible but I also don't want to work as much as possible and treat it like I don't know what kind of privilege it is to be able to do that kind of thing because when you're looking for validation and you get a whole bunch of rejection it leaves you in like kind of a dangerous territory and it's okay for you to be okay where you're at it is what it is you can only accept the present and work on what you can do for future you can't be like thinking of the future possibilities that you'd have no control whether they happen or not what's next month going to look like well first off if you guys ashes is available if you guys want to watch it so please do it was released today on halloween so i hope you guys enjoy it for your uh halloween you know adventure bright little tactics of the night on that note i am planning to release a behind the scenes video about ashes in november um november is the nano challenge which means the goal is to write 50,000 words in a month and that's it my plan is for those live streams is to be working on that project but also anytime i work on it i'm going to live stream it because i don't want to not only work on it for four saturdays in a month I and mean, that's not gonna that's not enough time to do 50,000 words but i want to make sure you guys, you guys are all along the like the rough draft creative process at the end of it all my plan is to do like the, a similar behind the scenes like go in with tech notes and write it down and then probably into january once i finish and with every chapter um i'll like release them as like auto audible like books as i with like some effects going in my channel just because i feel like that's an interesting little tidbit that you guys could all follow along with and the goal of that and the reason why i'm signing on to do it is because i worked a lot on my video content and now i want to work a lot of my written content and hopefully by pushing my video slash written um side of my brains that'll help me create better content for you guys in the future i'm still going to release video and for the nano challenge all that matters is that in november i write 50,000 words everything else is just pure bonus material that i'm now telling you guys about i encourage you guys if you want the same challenge to go ahead sign up you do you show up for yourself like i'm gonna show up for myself in november to wrap this up i just want to say thank you guys so much for the last 30 days 31 days the 31st day was a bonus for you guys and that's it for me i thank you guys uh, so much as always if you like the videos you've seen this month and you want to see more of me please subscribe if you are subscribed you can tap the little bell button um to get notified when i put more videos and you can always leave a comment because i really have appreciated a lot of people who've leave comments the last couple of months especially because some of you guys have shared how much my videos have helped you with your like mental health or with like certain aspects of my videos have helped you like uh creatively and i really thrive off those videos it makes me feel like i'm doing something for you guys in return um because that's kind of what's been happening for me if you like this video it will spread to more people and i just always feel like the more it spreads i'm hoping that the more that the message of showing up for yourself will too uh because a lot of times i feel like society pushes us to be validated by others and i want to be pushed the message of val being validated by yourself and with that thank you guys so much and i will see you guys next time and you know what's coming bye